and welcome to the Smiths Eye Preview Show. I'm Jed Mills and here's what's coming up on today's episode. We'll discuss this weekend's match as Blackpool make the trip to South Wales to take on Cardiff City. Gary Medine reflects on his recent impressive form. Neil Critchley shares his thoughts on Saturday's match in the Welsh capital. Plus, we'll hear from Oliver Casey after the defender made his league debut in last weekend's match against Bournemouth. Well, I'm pleased to welcome into the studio for his debut on the Smith High Preview Show, Blackpool midfielder Kevin Stewart. Well, Kevin, thanks very much for joining us. And how good was it to uh, finally get back out there, do the full 90 minutes at the weekend? Yeah, no, thanks for having me. Um, it was really good. It was uh, well overdue. It was a really tough injury, probably one of the toughest I've, I've kind of been through. Just, you know, it was complicated and I thought I was coming back and then I weren't. Um, and it ended up just dragging out and ended up being quite a long time. So. Super happy to get back involved. Um, I think being back in training, you know, for a few weeks before that helped massively as well. I was super excited to just get back in with the lads, even if that meant just just in training. Um, so to be back involved, starting as well and getting a full night is it's been massive for me. Because because that must be hard if you sort of back in training, you think right, I'm I'm ready to go. But obviously you got to get a match fitness. There's obviously other players there as well, and yeah. so sometimes you do have to sit out a little bit. And is that a really frustrating time when you you know then you're ready, but you just got to wait your turn a bit? Yeah, no. When I when I came back, that was probably the easiest part. Right. It was just the fact that I knew I was back. I had no pain when I was training, so now I can just get on with it. Um, and I actually enjoy it. Well, I needed. I couldn't have gone straight back in, mm. probably not because you know, I've been out for such a, a long time. So I knew I didn't feel you know, the power with myself, the, f the full fitness with myself. So um, the fact that you know, there's no desperation for me to come back in and we had other players um, available. And um, so it gave me that time to really get back up to, up to fitness because some sometimes I really don't like playing, <laughs> um, especially in the championship when I don't feel fit because mm. it's really tough. So intensity wise, I like to get around the pitch and when I can't do that, it's a bit frustrating for me. So probably prefer to you know, take the time out to get to full fitness. And then um, you know, when it comes to the day, I can you know, play with real intensity. Yeah, and be completely ready. I know we're speaking to a lot of people here, players that you play with, that former players as well, that um, know you and said, this probably must be one of the toughest injuries for you because you're one of the fittest players. Um, one of the longest always out there on the training pitch and it, and it I suppose come as a bit of a surprise the injury is that what you felt it's come a bit of a surprise and, and mainly the longevity of it all yeah it did come as a bit of a surprise because I just recovered from a, another injury mm. which itself dragged out a little bit as well um, so then to know that you know I had a, at the time I had a few niggles so it was yeah. like what was going on I felt like I was getting <laughs> hit with just everything like I just couldn't do anything without getting hit by something new um, so that was probably the, the frustrating part, it was a bit overwhelming at the time. Um, cause I just wanted, you know, just to play. Even the season before I had the injury um, here at home, I think it was Fleetwood it was. So I just really like was craving that momentum and just games and just so, um, you know, just get into a good routine of playing games, training, maybe one or two a week, which have been, which have been great. So for that to just keep being a stumbling block for me was a bit, was really frustrating. And how about recovery? Cause it was a tough game against Bournemouth, and obviously the conditions as well, and uh, and everything. It's quite it's that time of year. Pitches are quite sapping. So, what about the recovery for for next weekend or this weekend? Yeah, do you know, I, I felt didn't feel too bad. You know, um, obviously you know your normal kind of stiffness, but um, bearing in mind that being my first night for a while, I felt generally all right. Yeah. Um, you know, we just took it easy a few days after the game, so that helped. Um, so, you know, going back into training after a day off yesterday and training today, I felt, you know, pretty much fully recovered. As a player, was Saturday the most frustrating result potentially of your career at Blackpool? Because as a fan, it, 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 we should have won that game. And, it, and, you know, it ended up just it being a defeat and it just was a real sort of like... It was so frustrating. So as a player, just how did, how did that feel? Do you know, I probably, it was probably a little bit past frustration. Yeah. It was more just like real pain and yeah. disappointment. It was, you know, instead of me being angry, I was just like, just kind of deflated mm. more than, you know, anger. Um, because there's nothing more, more really, I feel like we could have done. We literally, you know, controlled the game and keep us pulled off some amazing saves so it's not like yeah. we're saying to the strikers you've got to be more clinical because some of the saves were just ridiculous saves um, so for that yeah to not, not even get a point out of the game it was just more, more deflating but 
you know, when you think about it, I think we have definitely taken positives and credit from it, you know, doing that to a team that's you know, supposed to be up there. Well, th that is, is up there. And, um, you know, the kind of players that they have and what they're expected to do compared to, compared to us and what's expected from us, you know, I think we did take confidence from that. So is that kind of what the manager is, certainly the, his job is to do, the coaching staff as well, is to go, right, OK, results happen like that, but listen, this is Bournemouth. Like you said, they're up there more than likely going to be back in the Premier League and we're all absolutely deflated that we've well got got beat but probably even a draw as well would have been yeah. a, bit, a, bit, a bit upsetting yeah so I think everyone was deflated but I think that's you know a day or two past then you're kind of thinking do you know what? the fact that we should have won that by more than mm. one or two goals just shows a real positive and kind of where we're at I don't know in, in the end of the day it's about getting the points but this just happens sometimes you can't always you know Take, uh, take all the points even when you play that well so um, I think it's more than anything it hurt that we didn't get the three points but I think we are taking confidence into the next match yeah and we'll talk more about that coming up just want to talk to you about this um, new initiative the teammates initiative you got Kirkham Juniors which uh, was my old team when I was uh, growing up so uh, really excited about that and I know some of the kids as well how important is it just when you think about you as a, a junior yeah. and looking up and in, you know inspiring to be a professional footballer um, you know how, how much is that to have that aspiration that player maybe to look up to yeah, I think it's really important because I think for me, like you said, thinking back when I was um, a younger player, I always had questions. So questions for you know people that are that are maybe idolised or they're at a level that I want to play at or you know just being a footballer in general. I'm sure like, like what? What? Because you say questions like who to? So who are your sort of idols? And yeah. Sort of what questions would you have loved to ask? Them? Or maybe you have asked them now. I think at that age, it was just anyone older than me that was you know kind of playing in a stadium right. just that kind of stature yeah, I wasn't yeah, yeah. you know I'm talking about like Premier League stars or it was just someone who I knew played at a, a good level mm -hmm. and um, in stadium in front of thousands of people just you know the, the kind of questions that all kids have you know how does it feel playing in front of so many people yeah. um, how did you get good at what you do how often did you train what did you train they're the kind of questions I had so um, for them to have access to that I think is really important so can you answer some of them how does it feel to play in front of thousands of people. Um, how hard did you have to train as a kid to kind of get where you are? What, what are the answers to them? Um, so playing in front, do you know what? It's actually a better time to ask now because I would have said before um, that I kind of gotten used to it, but then with the whole COVID thing when they yeah, left yeah. and then they came back, it kind of reminded me about you know, how important it is for them to be there and how better the game is when they're there. So um, play, playing in front of it, it just it gives you Definitely more energy, mm. you know, like boost adrenaline, gives you more focus. Um, you know, when you know they make songs up about certain players mm -hmm. and hear your name, it is it is a, a, a little boost. Um, so it's just really exciting. It makes the game more exciting uh, with, with fans. So like the kids, obviously, play with you know a few parents on the side, so they'll, they'll find it a huge difference if they ever came and got to that stage where they're playing in front of thousands of people. They would they would really enjoy it. Um, second question. Was, How hard did you train? So from a junior, you hear a lot about, yeah. you know, the sort of 16, your mates might have been, come on, come out. And you're like, I can't, I, yeah, I've, I've, I've got to stay in. The sacrifice you have to make in training. Like, what were you doing as a kid? Monday's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. 16-year-old. Well, just as a kid, is it maybe that's general? As a kid, I just played all the time. Yeah. Because the thing where just any opportunity I would, I would play, um, you know, at the time as well, there wasn't much social media or technology, yeah. so I was always out probably a lot more than kids now. Um, so it was really normal to go to school, come back and go straight to the park. <laughs> so we just played constantly, literally until like, you know, you're so hungry you need to go home for dinner. <laughs> like that, that's probably, yeah, that's, I think that's probably where you pick up all these, like your foundations. Mm. Um, so yeah, my advice for kids would be literally try and play as much as possible. I'd play for like as many teams as possible. If there was a match, um, for another team, if I could get involved, I'd get involved. I was just always like, just hungry to play. Did you always try and play at a level, like maybe a two year, you see, I, you know, I'd play with players who were playing like maybe a couple of years older, just because they were bigger kids, you know, they were 16, they were only 14, and it, yeah. it always, that made them better anyway. Was that similar to you? Yeah, I mean, out, outside of a club, yes. Yeah. Um, you know, family members, cousins, whatever, friends, that normally a lot of them are bigger. 
and it was always a challenge, I always liked the challenge. Um, when I was in a club, no, I never, because I was always quite small, mm. um, you know, really skinny, not very physical. So I was never able to like, play up like a lot of other kids, a lot bigger, that used to play up. Um, but yeah, so outside of football, there would have been a lot of times where you, know, you play against bigger kids. Thanks for watching. To watch the rest, please subscribe to Tangerine TV. It's one take. One take. Well done.